What's going on, dudes? Sterno Santucci. Um, it's going to be a Numenia um, three battle video. First time, I think I've only used, yeah, I've only used them four times. One, three, lost one. But I'm going to show you my victories with Numenia. Um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to, I'm going to fast, you know, do a little fast forward and stuff. But, uh, yeah, take a look and see what's going on. Uh, I think this is, like, one of the hardest factions to win with besides, um, maybe Thrace. But you, the many, uh, like, their, you know, Legionnaires are mediocre. Um, for them to be sort of effective against anybody else, you need to have the hill advantage. But what I did here, see my upgrades there, uh, gold, gold, and one experienced chevron. I have eight, R uh, eight missile units, because CWB, you're allowed that. Two of them are slingers with gold, gold upgrades. And the rest are um, regular archers with gold attack and one experience chevron. As you can see, I have um, long shield cav, gold, gold upgrades. I have my, uh, this is just for flanking in case, in case they flank me here. Yeah, they're gold, gold as well. See how I'm setting them up. See, I got them over here. Oh, my camels, too. I got camels. Forgot to mention that. They're gold gold as well. Um, they're just to scare uh, any enemy cavalry away a bit. Um, this one, you know, um, I wasn't as organized in this one as I am in normal fights. Well, I am when I set it up, but you know, eventually it gets a little unorganized. I keep the uh, camels by my general here. They're gold gold as well. The Royal Cav. Um, fighting Germania. And let's check it out. Let's fast forward this crap. All right, what do what do we have here? All right, he's got. Uh, looks like they're not even really up. He's got two upgrades. But one bronze and one defense upgrades on two um, naked fanatics. But he does have a lot of archers, and they probably have gold attack. All of them. They're not cheap. We all know that. One, two, three, four, five, six archers. I got eight. His cavalry are well upgraded. They look like they're all gold, gold. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, he probably used all of his money here. My archers are hitting his uh, guys here. But oh, you, you'll you'll get to see. Uh, my next fight is going to be against uh, Greece. And this guy, he had a noob circle, and oh man, it's gonna be sweet. So right now we're doing an, uh, just an archer skirmish. We're skirmishing big time. It's a lot of death going on, but I'm going to have the upper hand because I got two more missile units than he does. They're getting into position right here. And what you got to realize is, uh, you know, the uh, slingers have less range than archers. So he, he could send this cab up there right now and uh, take him out. These guys are useless. But I do see this as a threat, as a possible threat. So I do bring up my um, my my, my uh, legionnaires. And I'm going to push by, I think I pushed back some of his archers, but I'm not sure about that. But I know these guys get smoked. Oh yeah, look at this, freaking finished. God damn, it's not even fair. So you can see, he's... Uh, getting hit by javelins here. Here we go. That's not what I want to do. Uh, I guess I wasn't paying attention or something, but he's got a lot of cav here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my legionnaires over here and start hitting them from the back. And I got something over here going on. So what do I do is I take my uh, desert infantry and my cavalry and surround them. There, I'm, And right now I'm bringing my uh, camels and my general unit. There we go, he's finished there. That's over there, by the way. But I do have one of my long shields ratting, which is not good. But I do have a lot of uh, my... Like, I ratted his uh, cavalry on this side here. It's pretty sweet. It's a lot of, I had a lot of guys on that side. But look, he managed to um, get some cavalry by my archers here. But what I gotta do is I gotta stop them. I told all my archers to attack that one unit there. So 
he's doing a good job uh, mopping up my archers. I was kind of pissed about that, but I'm mopping up his archers too. So it's all working out, you know. But I'm still hitting them with my arrows. He still got cavalry that stopped routing, so he's gonna come over here and do some more uh, van damage, you know. So I'm starting to bring up some of my legionnaires, but I'm still, I'm still hitting his guys. So I, I need to get rid of those ca cavalry there. I do have a unit that's uh, coming back, but I did surround them, and uh, well, I did stop them a little bit, but it didn't work. So I did come over here. And I'm fighting him again. Took out his cavalry. So I think they were actually. F I made them route because of the. Uh oh, here we go. This is sweet. He's running. They are pretty well upgraded, so I all my archers are hitting them, so that's a big thing. So what I'm doing over here, um, he still got archers. They're, they, you know, they still got a lot of missiles. Um, he's got cavalry over here, and uh, I think it's my desert infantry. They're just running great like crazy. So what? Well, this is my uh, general unit here, and I gotta get my general unit out of here because right now. You know, I'm winded. He can use these guys. They're all shooting him. So I got to get the hell out of there because I don't want to get bogged down. So as you can see, I took care of this section over here. There's no problem here. What I should have did was reform my line. But look, it doesn't matter. I ratted that section. Fighting to the death. It's pretty sweet. I never saw it say that before. So I want it right now. Uh, what happens is I have a big bunch of mess over here. So I'm mopping up over here. I'm not really paying attention anymore. So what I do is I uh, I'm bringing my desert infantry. They're tired, but they're a bunch of Persians anyways. So I'm I'm actually uh, I gotta run the hell away from these guys. I think that's my general unit. Oh, uh, no, it's not. Thank God. But what's happening here is it's just pretty sweet. It's good. But it's a mess. You can see all his dead bodies here. Let's go see if we can find his general. I think he's in his death. Where's Waldo? Do you see him? <laughs> this is always fun. I give it five more seconds. Don't see him. Okay. So my desert infantry is still killing. They're tired. Light infantry is awesome. So I'm chasing those guys out of there so I can mop up here. These guys are very tired, so I hope they actually. I, I forgot if they actually do charge, and they do. They're they're finished. But they are. Oh, I am getting shot. Oh wow! Look at that. All right. So that takes care of them. So let's fast forward a little bit. My general. So it looks like my desert infantry is killing. There we go. See, it's a clear victory. I had a lot more men than he did, but I had a little bit more kills, but I had seven over 700 men remaining. You can see uh, who's my best man in this. Uh, what, 79, Long Shield Cav. Yeah, it's Long Shield Cav. All right, let's do another one. Any day. <laughs> I hope this is the the Greek one. I'm actually I'm hoping to God it is. Yeah, Greeks number two. Ha! <laughs> it's funny I beat Greece, Germania, and Carthage, but I lose against Gaul. But I, is there is a good reason for that. I wasn't even playing the game. <laughs> uh, my little guy was crying, and uh, I just left my guy sitting there. I had to go tend to him. 
He's more important now than uh, Numidia. Yeah, I'm doing it like the heir of Carthage right now. Never did it like that, but I have three wins and I uh, figure I get them online. You gotta kind of be, uh, you know, you have to be skillful and lucky with this army. Because you're fighting urbans, you're in a deep shit. Alright, here's what we got here. You see the noob circle over there? It's a CWBB, by the way. He's got some millage, cav, unupgraded general units, waste of money. CWB. He's got artillery. He does have six of those. He's got, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, so, okay. He's got six, three, uh, you know, whatever the hell they are. Spartans. So I see this, and I'm like, whatever. This is nice pickings. I wish this was in a free-for-all, because I would totally smoke this guy. So I'm running my dudes up there. I'm not really worried about an infantry battle now. Because he, he, he actually, this guy did say, uh, oh, it's one of my first times playing as uh, playing against Numidia. I said, well, it's not really that difficult. <laughs> all right, look at that. He's just, he is lighting up my cavalry. Let's look at all that. I gotta get, the, I gotta pull him the hell out of there. I don't need cavalry anyways. All right, as you can see, my men are in place. Right off the bat, I'm shooting him. Let's watch his death. Watch how quickly these dudes die. They're dropping like flies. Look at this. Bam. I'm not really worried about his cavalry, to tell you the truth. Because they're not upgraded. Look, I'm also taking out... I'm, I ain't let him get... I think I get him, let him get one shot off, but... Maybe not, actually. I don't think I really get... He got... I don't think he got one shot off on me. With this. We would see. If he did. Yeah, it's from archers. Yeah, that's it. Dude, this is like slaughter, dude. Slaughter fest, 2012. So look, he's got his cav here. I'm not letting him get away. Barely have any men in that cavalry unit, so they're they're finished. They're gonna get steamrolled. So yeah, this is an instant route, man. That's like the Spartan cavalry. Instant route. Oh, uh, this is. I wasn't paying attention here. Thank God it wasn't my general unit. <laughs> that was so stupid. So uh, you can see my archers are running out of people to kill, and they're killing Spartans. It's Alexander the Great getting owned. So he's actually... Oh, okay, he's done. So that, that guy comes back. We got a lot of dudes in that unit. Oh wow, look at that. They're getting pwned, man. I, I just can't believe... I mean, they're not upgraded, I understand. But they do have big hot black shields. They should, I I'm, didn't expect them to get killed that easily. So, once I run out of people to hit, I hit the backs of these guys. It's not like I really need to. It looks like I could hit the front of them and still do the same damage. Look, I hear the rocks falling. Yeah, so he, he understands that, uh... Yeah, he's not going to win this fight by sitting here. We still got a cavalry unit. They're okay in big money. 
Because they can last a little bit longer, they fight longer, better morale. Not in low money. Greece, you can't really play low money battles. And the, the formation that he has here is uh, it's just very bad. You see how skinny his lines are? He's got less spears. So he's just in for it. You know, you know. If I were the general, I'd tell the general. I'd tell them, let's get the hell out of here. Now they're brave. Look at that. <laughs> tells him to leave. And he tells him to go, and he just gets hit in the head with a rock. Yeah, there's no reason to ever engage with Spartan Hoplites if you don't have to. This is just slaughter, man. All these dudes, they, they trained since they were born, practically. And they died from a rock. Or an arrow. That's pretty sad. Look, look, and they're all getting slaughtered as they're walking up here. So what I do is I need to surround these guys. So I start pulling out some units here. See, they're, they're getting hit over here. They start the route. See how many we can kill. I'm taking my cavalry. I'm making sure they don't get away. Oh, man. I actually feel bad now that I look at this. Not one Spartan survives. Wow. His name's Spartan, by the way. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah. You can see he killed 120 of my men. 36 remaining. I think that might have been cavalry. Uh, looks like my archers are the beast in this battle. And, uh, what is that? 140, 171, one of my archers is my dude of the uh, MVP of the day. Alright, one more. It's Carthage. I'm fighting sacred band hoplites and uh, cavalry and everything. So, um, Numidia is, uh, yeah, they're pretty good if, if you're in the right terrain, you fight the right opponent, you don't make mistakes. You make mistakes, you're not winning. Just not happening. So, yeah, you can't let them hit your archers with cavalry. You gotta win in the cavalry department 20, you know, all the time. I mean, not the cavalry, I mean the archer department. Yeah, missile part mission win. All right, you can see he's got this hill up here. This is what I was worried about of him deploying up on this hill. So my objective was to take this hill, no matter what. If he's there or not, I am taking this hill. So he did have uh, Numidian archers, uh, cavalry up there, so I did take out a lot of them. So I'm, I have to take this hill, because he does have a lot of dudes. If I knew he was going to um, have his guys deployed over here, I probably wouldn't have been as cheap as I was, but I, I realized there's six um, Sacred Band Hoplites to my five Legionnaires. So I mean, it's a big difference, and he's got better cav than I do. So, and 
Yeah, he's doing a, a number on my uh, cavalry. So I, I cut him off here. So I see all his cavalry over there, and his Numidians are coming back too. So I, I, I couldn't take a chance with what I had fighting all of that. So I have to regroup and bring all my cav over there. Even my de uh, my infantry, Eastern infantry over here, desert infantry actually. So I bring everybody back. So I don't want to be up all the way up on the hill. Clo I I want to be you know considered border camping. So I move up a bit. But I definitely need to take out his cavalry. My cavalry is much less. Uh, I have more cav, but his guys are better uh, upgraded. So. But these camels are pretty sweet. So what do I got? Oh, I got four or five. Okay, I got six cavalry units. So he's a uh, infernal world of shit. such a freaking beast. I think I won that section because I had a hill advantage there. He's got the hill advantage over here. So what I do is I bring my eastern uh, infantry over here. I didn't. I don't think I really needed them though. killed all of his cav. So now I don't have to worry about cavalry anymore. What I do have to worry about is uh, sacred bands. I didn't realize they, these A would be killed that easily. I should have came down the hill after that. But I still have to worry about... I mean, they are... They could take on Spartans. Let's just put it that way. We all know that. What he did wrong here was turn his guys sideways like that. Now he's not protected by his shield. And this is when uh, my javelins come out to play. You can see, bam. Not good, man. Like, it's not good. Then he realizes what happened and he started bringing them up more. They get hit from all sides, which really blows. Yeah, they lost a lot. So what I'm doing here is I'm bringing all my archers. I'm going to kind of surround them. I'm going to keep my cavalry over there. But you can see... Up close, even without their spears, man. Shield, uh, sword, and shield. We're n we're not really that much of a match. This sucks. He's trying though. See what he's doing here is good but you could have got him from the side. I took him off guard mode now. I want him to get surrounded.
As you can see, I'm bringing my cavalry up here. I mean, I don't think I really needed them. But I did it anyways. He admitted defeat. He could have did he could have had more kills, but But that's my Numidian uh three battle victory. Heroic victory, kill 173, which is just ridiculous. I think he could have used he could have um bought more archers. Uh slingers, whatever. Which is really nice. Long shield cab, 132 kills. It's pretty ridiculous. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that Numidian uh, medley, and uh, take it easy.